Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So this is our discussion in quarter 2 week 1. So I promised my students to upload this so that they can have a reference material for their uh, upcoming reviews for our summative test. Before we start, let me first have a shout out to my uh, avid, no? He said, uh, iyagit ko nung tanaw ng atong mga video. So, shout out to David Angelo of Grade 7 Sampagita. Alright, so, para sa sunod niya shout out, you may just comment sa ato ang video. First come, first serve. Char. Alright, going back, the quarter two week one lessons start with establishing the timeline of the discovery of the microscope. So in here, you students will read an article about the history of microscopes, key dates on the timeline of the microscope. So let me just directly give you the answer to this timeline. So starting with 1000 CE here. An, an unidentified inventor reading stone. That's the answer for this first box here. For the second box, it's 1284. Italiano Salvino di Armate. First pair of wearable eyeglasses. Again, 1284 Italian Salvino di Armate. First pair of wearable eyeglasses. So that's the answer for the second box. For the third box here, 1590, Dutch eyeglass craftsman Zacharias Johnson and his son Hans Johnson discovered telescope and compound microscope. And for the fourth box, 1665 English physicist Robert Hope, he discovered in a court using the microscope lens, the pores or cells. That's 1665. And for 1674 here, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, basic microscope equipped with a single lens used to observe blood, yeast, insects, and a wide array of minuscule specimens. So I know you have this copy in your notebook, so there's no need for me to show you the answers here anyway that's those are the answers for this activity then let's proceed to the unlocking content area vocabulary starting with magnification then resolution illumination stage objective lens and the eyepiece are ocular and we have here the answers okay so for magnification is the factor by which a microscope enlarges an image it is calculated by multiplying the magnification of the objective lens by the magnification of the eyepiece so i showed i taught you already how to do the total magnification computation am i right all right for the resolution this is the ability of a microscope to distinguish two close points as separate entities. It determines the level of detail and clarity that can be observed in the microscopic image. And illumination, it's the light source used to illuminate the specimen. It can be from a built-in light source, a mirror, or an, an external light. Then we have the stage. It's the platform on which the specimen is placed for observation. It often includes a mechanical stage with controls to move the specimen precisely. We have objective lens, the primary lens in a compound microscope that is closest to the specimen and responsible for magnifying the image. And the last but not the least, the eyepiece or ocular. It's the lens at the top of the microscope that you look through to observe the specimen. It further magnifies the image produced by the objective lens. So those are the 
vocabularies that we have unlocked. Okay. So, we have here the different parts of the microscope. So, this is one of your activities. So, in which you are going to label the different parts of the microscope. Starting with, number one, it's the eyepiece. This part here. Then, number two, this is the arm. Number three, two arrows, manangi points. So, we have stage clips. Okay. Then, number four, it's the coarse adjustment knob. Then, the smaller one is the fine adjustment knob. Number six, this is the draw tube or the body tube. Number seven, it's the revolving nose piece. Then, number eight, it's the objective. There are uh, commonly four objectives in the uh, recent compound microscope. We have the scanner, the low power objective, the high power objective, and the oil immersion objective. Then, for the stage, it's number 9. That number 10 is the diaphragm, number 11 is the illuminator, and number 12 is the base. After identifying the different parts of the microscope, the, you were also able to identify the functions of the different parts. Starting with, uh, right, the eyepiece or the ocular lens. It's the lens at the top of the microscope that you look through, usually with a magnification of 10 times or 15 times. Then the arm, it's the part of the microscope that connects the base to the head and the eyepiece tube. It is used to carry the microscope. Stage clips, metal clips on the stage that hold the slide in place. Course adjustment knob, a larger knob used for focusing the microscope. It moves the stage or the body tube up and down to bring the specimen into general focus. Fine adjustment knob, a smaller knob used for fine-tuning the focus of the specimen after using the coarse adjustment knob. It moves the stage slightly to sharpen the image. Draw tube, the tube that connects the eyepiece to the microscope body. Revolving nose piece, the part that holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to easily change power or magnification. Objective, the lenses closest to the specimen that are typically of varying magnifications like 4 times, so that's the scanner, 10 times low power objective, 40 times the high power objective, then the 100 times the oil immersion objective. Then we also have the stage. It's the flat platform where the slide is placed for observation. Diaphragm or iris diaphragm. It's a rotating disc under the stage with different sized holes. It is used to vary the intensity and size of the cone of light that is projected upward into the slide. Illuminator, a light source located at the base of the microscope. Base, the bottom part of the microscope that provides stability and support. It houses the illuminator and other electrical components. And the following video should be seen by everyone. Alive 200 years ago, you would have been given some very strange advice on how to avoid getting ill. You might have been told to carry sweet smelling flowers with you or avoid going to smelly places. This was because at that time people didn't understand that infectious diseases were caused by microorganisms. They didn't know that because they couldn't see them. Microorganisms are so cool because they can only be seen using a microscope. They are far too small to be seen as the naked eye. In fact, the invention of the light microscope opens up a whole new world to scientists. The microscopic world. The microscope magnifies objects to make a larger image. This allows us to see objects in more detail. Resolving power or resolution is also a feature of microscopes. Resolution is the ability to distinguish two different points as being separate. Basically, using a microscope for high resolution that you can increase magnification further without the image becoming blurred. The light microscopes you may use at school have quite a low magnification resolution. They will still enable you to view individual cells. To use a microscope, you place a slide containing the specimen onto the stage and secure it using clips. You first choose a lowest objective lens by turning around the nose. 
Alright, so those, I mean, the information about microscope. So I believe I forgot to show you this in our class. So I hope you can uh, have a grasp of the information uh, given in the video. Alright, so now uh, you are going to create a storyline using the graphic organizer. Yes, organizer. Summarize the steps and using the microscope. So I have already given here the steps how to handle a compound microscope. Alright, so you may pause this video to uh, read the different steps how to handle. And by the way, I believe you also have a copy of this in your notebook. So this is 1 to 9. And by the way, the following are the image as seen under the microscope for letter E. Then this is the image of letter B under the microscope and this is the image of letter D under the microscope. This is the image of the strand of hair, the colored in the newspaper, colored portion, and this is the um, handwriting. And then this is our formative test. Right, you may pause this video and focus on this. Okay, just pause and focus so that you can answer. And at the end of this video is the answer. So for your reference material during your, re your review, you may pause this video and then answer first on your own before viewing the answer key. Alright, so thank you for watching our video. This ends our week 1, quarter 2 lesson in Science 7. So see you on our next video about uh, week 3 of quarter 2. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.